Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. What? For what, I don't know, but she's waiting for us now. Great. I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. We'll play the I game. I knew I could trust you. Humor her. <sighs> Tell her what she wants to hear. That was the plan. I have to swallow our pride. See, the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. Say no, there's guards. Okay, that works. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. I know, I know. Good luck. <laughs> All right, Cersei, you and your wickedness, let's get this thing going. Oof. Hey, Tyrion! Tyrion! Help me out, buddy. You can do this. I know. Can I spit on her? Bit of a crowd here, I guess. At least she's not sitting on the throne. Ah, Lady Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? Tyrion! Lord Tyrion. <laughs> Your Grace? <laughs> Yay! Oh my god. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. They got him down pat, thank god. Let's kneel. Your Grace. There we the go. Girl knows her courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. God, she looks just as bitchy as she house does. Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Uh, is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. The girl can speak for her house. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. For centuries, the foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. Yes, your grace. They are traitors. The Starks were your liege lord, yet you name them traitors so easily. I take it this is the kind of loyalty the king can expect from you. If you have any loyalty at all. Great. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? He is the Warden of the North, your grace. He is. And I the Queen Regent, and Tyrion the Master of Coin. The girl has a remarkable talent for answering questions while in fact saying nothing at all. <laughs> Old allegiances are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Foster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Great. Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. And now she's gonna trap me. I see. Ah, oh, shit. Here it comes. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks. 
wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the wall? Mm. Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Rene Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I'm sure she regrets it. Perhaps. Perhaps not. <sighs> If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. You are a girl from the North, here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king that must be absolute, beyond question. Okay. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure Let she would- Let the girl answer the question. Go on. I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? <laughs> the most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Yeah. I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I really hope she knows that wasn't, you know, like, my honest feelings. Gotta help. I'll walk you out. Please do. I feel like I just got spanked. A surprise. But I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Ruse Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage, to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. <laughs> My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood. And I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. I love you, Tyrion. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. In fact, forget I even suggested such a thing. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'm a I'll very consider. brave girl. Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. No. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. I wonder if that is Peter Dinklage, though. If it's not, it... It's fair enough for his actor to fool me. Oh my god. Please let Marjorie not hate me. Please. Mira, I was worried. How was it? This sucks. 
Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah? <laughs> what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour, which I doubt is Dornish for wife. He is quite handsome. And quite passionate, from what I've heard. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Hello. Uh -huh. Marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey <gasps> if it meant you'd become queen? No. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? Nope. You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. No, thank you. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Oh, thank God! Let's see, who else should we marry of? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Don't be mad at me. Well, Sarah? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mary. Uh, she doesn't like me. I'm just glad it's over. Don't hate me, please! King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. <laughs> True. The words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. She doesn't hate me, thank God. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Help. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. Yeah, well... It's about my family. I trust her. Alright. I trust you. I trust her. Go on. Surprisingly. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. Uh huh. What would you have me do? Stop him. My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought. If a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. 
is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. Pretty King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. Come on, please, please, please. Help me. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... I'll kill her. You're the only one who can help me. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Come on. Come on. Very well. Yes! I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Oh, thank, God. thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Oh. Sarah's got me worried so bad, though. God. King's Road, Wolfswood. Back is a uh, Garen or Garrett? I can't remember the damn names to save my life. Great, someone's getting tortured. I wonder who that could be. Or doing it. Who could be doing the torturing? Seven elves. Yep. Play a little game, shall we? Oh, fuck. Ramsey. You know, my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise <laughs> like a drowning cat i thought he'd never stop as my father likes to say a naked man holds few secrets but the flayed man the flayed man holds none pity he didn't know your father is the warden of the north he does now who is it how much further is it to these foresters uh, a day my lord to it most. Oh, man. What was that? Shit. My lord? Shh. Listen. Oh, shit. Ramsey of the... The horse. Damn. Hear that? The horse. I know I heard something. Stay still. Stay still. Never mind. Oh, thank God. We've wasted enough time already. Oof. This person I want chasing me is Ramsey. And they just left the poor man? Where did you leave? Buddy, I bet did he mess you up. Oh my bloody hell, God. That sucks. But that's definitely Ramsey for sure. Shit. Great. That psycho Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Shocking. But 
300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. 